Today, our topic in bacteria is economic importance of bacteria in diversity of living world. Unit 1, Chapter 1 in Botany. So, we will discuss about the economic importance. In economic importance, first we have to deal with the beneficial aspects and after that harmful. So, the bacteria is contains both the beneficial and harmful aspects. Okay. First, we will deal with the beneficial aspects. Soil fertility. Ammonification means that is the proteins is converted to ammonia. That is the proteins from the dead organic matter is converted to ammonia. So the bacteria here, they, that is example for ammonification or ammonifying bacteria is Bacillus ramosus, Bacillus mycoideus. So, it converts the complex protein into the dead bodies of the plant and animals into ammonia which is later converted into ammonium salt. So, the process of the protein from the dead organic matter of plants and animals is converted to ammonia and then to ammonium salts. Nitrification so, nitrification means the ammonia is converted to nitrite and nitrate. This was carried out by nitrobacter and nitrosomas. So, convert the ammonium salts into nitrates and nitrite. Okay, that is the role of these two bacteria. Nitrogen fixation, acetobacter, clostridium, rhizobium. So, these are the three bacteria which helpful in nitrogen Fixation, converting atmospheric nitrogen into organic nitrogen by acetobacter. The nitrogenous compounds are also oxidized to nitrogen. So nitrogen example, clostridium that is nitrogen compounds from the nitrogenous compounds like ammonium chloride like that substance also we can able to oxidize and form nitrogen. All the soil activities are, right, that is bacteria, of, bacteria increases the soil fertility. That is rhizobium, as I, we talk about the symbiotic relationship in the heterotropic mode of uh, uh, nutrition. No, there the rhizobium bacteria which fixes the atmosphere nitrogen and gives to the plant. So due to this, the soil fertility is enriched. So it ha has the rich nutrients, okay. Now the second one is antibiotics. So antibiotics, if, I, if you go to, if you have a fever, you go to the doctor, the doctor will give some of the antibiotics like streptomycin, bactericin, chloromycin, polymyxin, ampicillin. So they are taken from the bacteria only. So first we will see streptomycin. Streptomyces gigrus, this is the bacteria and it cures urinary infection. If you have urinary problem, that is the infection that can be uh, cured by this bacteria. That is step, uh, from this bacteria, they take in the antibiotic known as streptomycin. Urinary infection, tuberculosis, meningitis, tuberculosis, TB. Meningitis is the brain fever and pneumonia. And aromycin, streptomycin aerophagians. So it is given for, that is it is given to oofing cough. And eye infection, if you have an eye infection like Madras eye, the, the doctor will give this uh, uh, drops and the woofing cough means unnecessarily you will get a uh, cough. So that cough was uh, uh, that is treated by this stem that is aromycin. Next chloromycetine, streptomyces venunzula. So typhoid fever, so it cures typhoid fever. Next bactericin. Bacillus lichen formus. So it is given for, it is given to treat syphilis. So it is a liver syphilis is a STD that is a sexually transmitted disease. We will talk about uh, in next year about that disease. Polymyxin. Bacillus polymyxa. So it cures the bacterial that is some of the bacterial disease. There are more bacterial disease which can be cured by this polymyxin. And industrial uses, lactic acid, lactobacillus lactis and lactobacillus bulgaricus. 
okay so they convert milk into lactose sugar okay that is milk sugar lactose into lactic acid so the lactose is converted to lactic acid by these bacteria and next is butter lacto bacillus bulgarius so bulgarius lactococcus lactis uh, leucino non stock and citrovorum so the what uh, that is that that is one and the cheese lactobacillus acidophilus lactobacillus lactis and curd lactobacillus lactis yogurt lactobacillus bulgarius so these can convert milk into butter cheese curd and yogurt okay next vinegar acetic acid is taken from the bacteria acetobacter aceti so it oxidizes ethyl alcohol okay from the molasses that is molasses is the fermentation of the sugar so fermentation that gathered brought to the vinegar that is ethyl alcohol is obtained okay from that molasses that is from the ethyl alcohol is taken from the molasses by how fermentation process with the help of vinegar which is taken from the acetobacter aceti next alcohols and acetone butyl alcohol methyl alcohol it is taken from clostridium acetabutylicum so the alcohol acetones are prepared from molasses by fermentation so uh, due to the presence of anaerobic bacterium next it is rating of fibers they may ask in two marks and one mark clostridium tertium the fibers from the fiber yielding plant are separated with the help of bacterium clostridium that is called rating of fibers okay next it is uh, vitamins so vitamins e coli so we all know the e coli is living are in our inter intestine that is intestine and it has the quality of vitamin k and vitamin b complex okay next curing of tea and tobacco so micrococcus canadicus canadicans and bacillus megalotherum so they are fave that the flavor aroma the tea the tea and the tobacco aroma is due to the fermentation of the due to the fermentation of this bacteria present in it okay so this is the beneficial activities the beneficial activity is the soil fertility uh, antibiotics industrial that is rating of fibers acetone and alcohols uh, and um, curing of leaf vitamins these are the beneficial aspects of the bacteria now we going to see the harmful aspects that is harmful means the bacteria also causes disease in human beings plants and animals first we will see about the plant disease caused by bacteria so in rice plant bacterial blight xanthomonas oryzae apple fire blight ervinia amelivora carrot soft rot ervinia cara florva flora citrus citrus canker that is xanthomonas citri cotton angular leaf spot xanthomonas malvaserum potato ring rot clavibacter michigan genesis subspecies cepodonicus potato scab streptomyces scabious so these are the plant disease and the causal organism next we that is this is the plant disease caused by bacteria this one is the citrus fruit and you can see this lemon fruit the lemon fruit was the lemon fruit was infected with this bacteria that is bacteria xanthomonas citri and this is potato scab you can see the scabs around it okay so the citrus canker you can see the canker on the fruit that is you can see like yellow spots like structure no that is called the citrus canker Uh, which is caused by xanthomonas citri and you can see the scab is scabies um, scabies on the potato so that is called potato scab disease and the next one 
animal disease caused by bacteria, sheep, anthrax, bacillus anthracis, cattle, brucelliosis, brucella abortus, cattle, bovine tuberculosis, mycobacterium bones, cattle, black leg, clostridium, chituvel. Next, the human disease caused by bacteria, cholera, vibrio cholerae, typhoid, salmonella typhi, tuberculosis, mycobacterium tuberculosis, leprosy, microbacterium tuberculosis, pneumonia, diplococcus pneumoniae, plague, Yersinia pestis, diphtheria, cornibacterium diphtherium, diphtheria, tetanus, clostridium tetani, food, poisoning, clostridium botulinum, syphilis, trifanium pallidum. So these are the human, human disease caused by bacteria. And have you heard about the word probiotics? So the probiotics is the beneficial one. So probiotics, this is the, in the milk products and the toothpaste, it is available in the mar market. So in the market, it is available. So they may ask in two mark also, have you heard about the word probiotics or define the word probiotics? So the probiotics is, stay, is from the milk products, okay, milk products and the toothpaste, it is available in the market. So and what are the uh, bacteria from where it is taking? No, lactobacillus and by Bifidobacterium. So remember lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. Uh, these are the two bacteria where it, they are acting as a probiotics and they are used to prepare the probiotic yolk, hurt and toothpaste. Probiotic means they are creating the antibodies. So uh, prevention is better than cure the, uh, from uh, any of the disease. No. So we have what they are saying they, for corona also be prevent. So prevention is better than cure for that they had some, give some of the rules and regulation. The government had given rules and regulation. That like that the probiotics can be synthesized in our body with the, when we use this pro probiotic uh, yolk hut and toothpaste. Okay. So that was taken from the bacteria lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. And the bacteria forms biofilms and leads to the dental caries and urinary tract infection UTI. Ralstonia synthesizes PHB poly B that is poly beta hydroxyl butyrate poly beta hydroxyl butyrate a microbial plastic which is a biodegradable one. So the bacteria forms the biofilms that is it forms a biofilm like structure. So, in, uh, uh, that is dental caries means on your tooth, it forms, the bacteria forms a la layer like a film like layer like structure. Due to this what happened, the dental that, that is the teeth will destroy, okay. And the bacteria can create a biofilm in your urinary tract and it causes urinary tract infection also, okay. That is an uh, awful one. And the next one, Ralstonia. Ralstonia. This bacteria synthesizes poly beta hydroxybutyrate (PHB). So it a microbial plastic which is a biodegradable. So from Ralstonia, you can able to synthesize a plastic. The polymer, that is the polythene bag, can be synthesized from Ralstonia bacteria, and it is an biodegradable. So this we can use it. So this is, you, they, they, this they may ask in one mark, Ralstonia is used to synthesize um, PHV that is microbial plastic and it is a biodegradable one. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. Give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.